Hey guys, Giancarlo here with another quick uh, review and comparison. This time we'll do a review of the Samsung fast charging wireless charging stand. Um, and to test this device, we're gonna be using my new S7 Edge. Uh, and this device comes in both uh, in two different colors, black and white. And obviously I got black to match my device. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set my phone down. And as soon as we set it down, a blue light appears and it's fast charging wirelessly, 62%. And uh, to be able to help us determine how fast the phone is charging, we're gonna be using this app called Ampere, which is free on the Google Play Store. Um, and we see that we're already up to 730 milliamps. Uh, while we're waiting for that to normalize, guys, this is the box. And inside the box, not only does it come with the charging stand, but it also comes with a fast charging micro USB wall charger, which is the exact same charger you'll get in the box of your device. So as long as your device is um, fast charging uh, capable, um, and that includes the S6 Edge Plus, the Note 5, and the S7, and the S7 Edge. So if you have any one of those four devices, um, you are able to wear fast, uh, wirelessly fast charge. Um, and right now it looks like we did top out at 1020 milliamps and we're back down to 660. It does fluctuate and that's not, that's very normal whether you're charging wirelessly or wired. Um, but I have seen these charges uh, go up all the way to about 1250 or 1100 um, so right, right now it looks like we maxed that at 12 tw uh, 10 20 milliamps so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that this from the from the charger and right here we have the Chotec fast charging um, pad which is very similar to one Samsung had but at the time I had to get the Chotec because it was much um, it was way less expensive than the um, than the one that Samsung was was selling in the beginning, uh, when I had my S7, uh, my S6 Edge Plus. So it looks like we're all the way up to 800 milliamps already. What I've found is that in terms of charging, they both charge uh, the phone fairly quickly and at the same levels. I've never seen uh, the Chotec uh, fast charging pad reach about 1250 like I did the, the Samsung stand. But, you know, um, like I said, they, they do fluctuate and that was like the max I've seen on the stand. So um, I have seen this, this uh, Chotec pad reach up to about 1100, I mean, I would say 1000, 1050. Um, but they're fairly the same, guys. Okay, so one thing you'll notice, guys, is when I put down, so we maxed out at 960. Um, one of the caveats of having a charging pad, and doesn't it's not specific to Trotec, it's any pad, is that you can put your device at a bad angle and it's not charging, you know? So you could literally, that, that's the downside of having a pad, right? Even the Samsung pad. I could lay my phone down, not get the sweet spot, and it's not even charging if I'm not paying attention. So I find a sweet spot of any charging pad is right below the, the camera. You have to hit that spot, see how its uh, power is connected, and fast charging again. Uh, with the stand, you don't have that problem. You can just lay the device down, even sideways. Let's say you're watching a video. YouTube clip, you know, you're watching one of my reviews, let's say, um, and you just want to charge it wirelessly without having to deal the, with the wire for, for however long you're watching that video for, then you can, you can charge your device while you're watching that video. And as you can see, it fast charges your device even um, horizontally, uh, and it's actually the same levels, guys. So we'll, we'll see what levels it comes out to, but it actually charges your device the same speed as if it was horizontal, I mean vertical. So that's something to consider. Um, I wouldn't, for those of you very, very sensitive with light, 
this light is not blinding i'll turn off the light real quick it's it's a it's a it's a light blue it's a dark blue light that comes on i'm not very sensitive to light while i'm sleeping so i can keep this by my bed uh this has a softer uh light on it and as you can see, we've, we've topped out 960 milliamps, which is about the same as when it was charging um, vertically and stuff. Uh, just on to the prices real quick, guys. This charging, um, this charging stand uh, did cost me $49.96 with Amazon Prime, two-day shipping. And if you're curious about this uh, Chotec... Uh, charging pad it actually comes in at $35.99 with Amazon Prime so I would definitely if either device I would definitely look online try to find the best price for you um, definitely don't bring it buy it at a brick and mortar store or, or a wireless carrier because they will charge you a lot more money at T-Mobile this was about $30 more um, so save your money do some research I'm hoping this review helped someone uh, make a decision. It is about a $15, $10, $15 difference between the two devices. But obviously, these has had, does have its advantages over, over a pad, any pad. I'm not singling out uh, Chotec. But hopefully, that helped you guys out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for uh, stopping in. Later.